And there goes Gomez. Reynolds lets him run, and no chance for Molina. Stolen base for Carlos Gomez. Had a great jump, went on the first move. Can Gomez come up with the big one here? There goes Gomez to third. Molina's throw, and Carlos steals third base. And that throw almost went into left field. Inside part of the play to Castellanos didn't like that call. Davis goes to third. He is such a thief. Rajay swipes third base, and now that go ahead run just 90 feet away. That's what happens as a catcher if you just get in a habit of just simply lobbing the ball back to the pitcher after the ball's been thrown. Davis knew that because he'd already watched Norris do it several times. And then finally, once he does it this time, he knows he's going. Would be a gamble. There he goes. And a throw down there is not nearly in time. And so a gamble taken and a win for Trout. You can steal a base that easily. Cook not very quick, about 1 3. Almost 1 4 to home plate. Trout has that in his back pocket. Not necessarily a risk you want to take, but if you know you're going to steal that. Altuve goes, the pitch is a strike and the throw down on a bounce. Altuve has number 55. What a strike. Right arm of the home plate umpire went up here. About that? Seth Buckminster. A little low. Good jump by Altuve. He's Real gone. Good jump, yeah. Boy, he gets in, in gear quickly. So again, 55 for Jose. He's already got that crown locked up. There he goes for third. Pitch down and away, and he'll make it uncontested. Number 56. And does this sequence of a couple of stolen bases <laughs> open up the chance for 60? Yes. At this rate, he'd only need two more games to get it done. Does that change anything in MVP voters' minds? It's only going to increase. Your Good speed for the switch hitting second baseman. Looks like he wants to show butt, and he does so. And he drops a perfect walk. And you better hurry. And he throws it away. One run in. Cole falls down, and Orlando keeps on running. Mondesi. He's going to end up at third. The throw gets away, and he's going to stay there. This game is tied at three. Now they're going to ask to see if Mondesi was running inside the first baseline. We've had uh, Sosha come out before and ask in this series. He wants to ask the first base umpire, Dan Bellino, the same question as well. See that bunt? A very good bunt. And that speed inside the line. And knocks the glove off. Billy Burns very <laughs> especially with a left-handed hitter but they were not paying attention to him and that's what happens sometimes with a reliever they really do not think about base runners and Billy Burns got it that's how close it was that close to being caught stealing Kurt Suzuki laid it on the bag Ploof got the ball if it's on the bag he's out he had to take it down just enough and that's the difference 
many times have you said it? If you see the runner going, take the pitch because you don't want to line into a double play. There it is. Good call. And Dyson will end up at third. I had a sneaking suspicion that Rusty was going to tell Dyson, hey, look, the guy's so quick home, why don't we try it? And I think that's the first one we've seen from Gerard Dyson, at least since I've been here. I, I don't remember him doing it. Watch it. Three crow hop steps. One, two, three. Perfect. And good execution there. Rushed the throw. Couldn't make it. Gerard Dyson steals his 20th bag. There he goes, and they pitch out. They guess right, and they still can't throw him out. Mind-boggling speed for Billy Hamilton. And it really was. It wasn't an exceptionally big lead. It was a pitch out all the way, but everything has to go perfectly. And that throw being on a little bit of the shortstop side of second base, it took Harrison, the third baseman who was covering, just an extra second longer to get that tag down. And that's why Hamilton is safe. Sliding to the outside of the bag, buys him an extra millisecond. The one two pitch on the way pulled on the ground to the hole plugging it up and unable to pick it is LeMay here and when the ball dies on the grass Gordon is into second base safely. Oh is that an exciting play. LeMay who racing to his left got his glove on the ball couldn't come up with it and overran the ball and that's all Gordon needed give him an inch and he'll take 90 feet. So LeMay, he slaps, overruns it. Gordon sees the ball is unattended and beats the throw by LeMay Hugh to second base. So an infield double with two out. Dodgers now have the tying run, and Yasiel Pui will be coming up. So Gordon does what he does best, taking a single and making it into a double. He is very alert when he sees the door open. He takes advantage of it. The throw, late, second and third. It's taken seven innings for the Kansas City speed game to come into play in this game, and they're right back in it. Well, this is why you have a guy like Gore and he made the roster because of this situation right here. This guy when he takes off to steal a base he is at full speed and half a step. I mean the minute he moves he's at full speed. Oh. And the throw gets away. Triple. And it goes into shallow right. Gore is going to head for third. And he's in there. And that throw almost got away from Poof. In order to beat the Royals, you cannot make mistakes. And that's what happens. Speed does that. It pressures defenses. It takes you out of your game. And the Royals have a knack, especially with this guy, Terrence Gore, man. Bounces away. Here comes Gore. Play at the plate. Royals win it. And Trevor May reacts appropriately. He gave the Royals that run with a walk, an air, and a wild pitch. One run on no hits.